Hi Aries, it's me G1 Writing with G1 Insights and I am providing you today with your life and love energy for the month of August 2019. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for all your love and support. I am going to get started. I don't want to hold you guys up too long. So Aries, it seems like all of you fire signs are going through this, this thing of thinking a lot about love. Like, love is on the brain for a lot of you. Like, this is interesting considering all that you have been dealing with anyway. I mean, last month you were trying to rebuild your confidence, you know, kind of feeling yourself a little bit. And this season is like trying to reconnect with an old lover or uh, maybe last month an old lover returned. Maybe someone you really deeply cared for returned. And I feel like you guys... Um, like, if you were wondering if this person is, like, a twin flame or soulmate, I feel like for a lot of you, they are, you know? And this is a beautiful connection. Like, there's a lot of great chemistry between you two. Um, for some of you, this could even perhaps be a new person, okay? But it could be both. For some of you, this could be a new person and an old person trying to come into your life, right? And maybe there's going to definitely be some decisions you have to make. But for some of you, this is just a new person or it can just be simply an ex, okay? Either way, love is definitely in the air this season. And I feel like a lot of you are like, this is a lot. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to, to say. I don't know how to tell them how I feel, you know, but I feel like you have to rely a lot on your throat chakra this season because you're going to have to communicate exactly what you don't want to communicate. Like you're going to have to say exactly um, what you were feeling or what you were thinking. Um, try your best to communicate the best way possible, you know, through love songs or um, maybe write a letter, maybe write a poem. Try to stick to the old traditional views of things, you know, especially when it comes to love and you won't go wrong. So if you are single and you know it just so happens someone pops back up or maybe you were looking for love but you just were kind of skeptical I feel like this is a great time to want to open up your heart to try something new something you've never done before uh, maybe you feel deep inside like this person is not really your type okay but those be the ones that treat us really really well isn't that interesting like the ones who's really like not your type that you would not normally go for it's like they be the ones that treat you like the queen and king that you are, right? Isn't that weird? <laughs> so also, a lot of your chakras are ne needed to be focused on this season. Your sacral chakra. So try to wear like a lot of orange and a lot of blues to represent your throat chakra. You know, you want to make sure that you... Wear colors that can help raise your vibration, especially when it comes to love. If you come off a little shy, like, for instance, like, I'm Aries rising. So I know that for me, I come off a certain way, but then when people get to know me, they're like, what happened? And so I always have to explain myself <laughs> because I come off like, hey, how you doing? What's up? You know, and very flirty. And I don't mean to be flirty, but I come off that way, right? Um, so Aries, it's the same thing with you guys, right? Like you come off very flirty and in, in the back of your mind, you're like, oh my God, are you really talking to me? Like you get shy, but you like the attention though. That's the crazy part. Like you love the attention. And so I feel like you, you will deeply love the attention that you receive from a special someone this season. You will admire it and you will want more and more of it. For some of you, this is a man with a lot of, uh, connections a lot of money someone who is extremely attractive to you someone who you really really do have feelings for and I feel like that's the scary part like you're like oh my god I can't possibly be falling for this person they're everything that I always wanted right and then for some of you this is like okay I can't do this with you right now. <laughs> like, I feel like a lot of you are trying to run away. Like, they're going to be, like, trying to woo you over, and you're going to be, like, running away. So watch out. Watch out for the, the charming individual that's going to be coming in um, in the month of August, okay? But I feel like that first week, there's definitely going to be a need to communicate 
your feelings and your needs and your heart's desire during that first week of August, okay? And like I said, for a lot of you fire signs, love is definitely on the brain. Um, for some of you, again, this is someone from your past, okay? Um, you may be feeling like, yo, even though we have great chemistry, I have to let you go. Like for some of you, you, you're already coupled up and this person is just trying to work their way back into your life. And you're like, listen, we have great chemistry. I love being with you. You make me laugh. You tickle me, you know, but I'm in love with somebody else. So like, I feel like you're going to have to break the news to somebody like, no, I can't do this with you right now. Right. And it's interesting because I feel like that's how it always is between you and this person. It's like, uh, a, what do you call it? It's kind of like yin-yang, you know? It's like, you know, always trying to find the balance between it. Like, there's one minute, it's like either you're chasing them or they're chasing you, but you guys can never really quite come together. So it's, it's interesting. But there's definitely deep, 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 dark chemistry between you two. And it's sexy. It's a very appealing vibe <laughs> between you two. Um, but I feel like, you know, you're going to break the news to this person, but you're going to try your best to do it out of compassion. If not, if you, if this person just keep calling you and they won't stop coming around and they're getting on your nerve, then of course you may not feel like you want to have compassion. You might feel like, look, let me just dive in and tell them how I feel and curse them out. But I promise you, please don't do that. Like, you know, just do it out of love. You know, tell them how you feel. You can still tell them how you feel. It's not that you're trying to keep your guards up, but they obviously may have put you through some things and it's going to take you a while to really adjust and to get used to them being back in your life again or um breaking the news to them and saying listen this this can't go on but this is definitely someone you knew from a past life or another lifetime somewhere this is definitely someone um who is definitely a soulmate or a twin flame connection okay so this is interesting i haven't seen this energy for you guys in a while okay so take advantage of this beautiful energy guys take advantage of it um, again, if it's someone new, then of course, be open hearted, you know, go out, accept that date, you know, have fun, loosen up, let your hair down, go have fun, right? And release any, any old negative emotions or perceptions about this person. Like if you, maybe you already knew this person, but you guys always wanted to date, but you never really actually did it. So this is going to be the time where it's like, okay, I'm ready, right? Be patient with yourself, okay? Let go of all those old perceptions or negative views or thoughts or fears when it comes to the, to dating this person or this individual, okay? So um, other than that, though, I feel like as long as you communicate how you feel and you pray about it and if, if you, it's your gut or your spirit is saying give it a chance, then give it a chance. If your spirit is saying to walk away, then walk away. But this is definitely a season for you to pay attention to your heart's desire and to really release any type of judgment judgments that you have about yourself or about this person or this environment with this person okay so i love you aries i want you to have a great week wherever you are in this beautiful universe and don't forget that leo new moon in august is going to really really brighten up your day okay around um the aquarius full moon that's going to be happening is going to be really innovative so you know, get ready for some innovative thinking and some inspiration and to be, I mean, you're already a very impulsive person, but it's a full moon for crying out loud. So think of all the things that you want to release and think of all the things that you would like to work on, that you would like to accomplish and go after it with a, a good, good strategic plan. Like don't just dive in. Think about it. Do I really want this person back? Do I really want to move in with this person? Do I really want to have their children? You know, really, 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 really think about it okay so i love you please like share and subscribe to my channel share this message around the world because everybody deserves to hear this message my love thank you and have a beautiful week wherever you are okay bye